You can add trip facts to each trip you create to let your visitors get a quick idea of what your trip encompasses at a glance. The trip facts are displayed on the front end and makes your trip page and travel website look attractive and professional. In this video, I will show you how to add trip facts to your trips. First, you have to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now go to WP Travel Engine, then go to Settings. To add trip facts, you will first have to add all of the trip facts at once. Later, while creating or adding a trip, you will be able to select the added trip facts and feature them on respective trip pages. Now, click on Trip Info. Here, you can add in the field name, field icon, field type, as well as the field placeholder. I have already added a trip fact here, the field name as transportation. I have also added the field icon, the field type. To add in a new trip info, you have to click on Add Trip Info. Click on the Add icon. Now add in the field name. I will add in the field name as accommodation. Now to add in the field icon, you have to click on Add Fact icon. You can select from the list of available icons or you can also search from the icon here. After finding the right icon for your field name, you have to click on the icon to select it. Now, from Choose Input Type, if you click on it, you will find options to select the field type. It can be text, number, select, text area or duration. The field input type you select depends on the field name you have added. For now, the field name is accommodation, which means the field input type will be text. Had the field name been something like group size or altitude, the field input name would be number. Similarly, you can select other field input types depending upon the field name you have added. For now, I will select text. You can also add in the field placeholder. Field placeholder is an additional hint, description or example of the information required for a particular field. For example, for the accommodation field, you can add in the field placeholder as tent, hotel room, or homestay. These hints typically disappear when you type in the field. I'm going to skip adding field placeholder for this video, but you can add in the placeholder if you wish to. Now to add in another trip info, you have to click on add trip info once again. Then you can keep on adding more trip infos following the same process. After you are done adding all of the trip facts, scroll down and click on Save and Continue. Now let's go to Trips and click on all trips. Let's select one of the trips to add the trip facts to. Let's go with the first one. Click on edit. Now scroll down and you have to go to trip info. Add in the section title if you haven't already. Now to add in the trip facts we have just added, you have to click on select trip fact, then select from the list of available trip infos that we just added. Let's select accommodation and now click on add fact button which will add the accommodation fact. Now you have to add in the relevant information about accommodation over here. To add another trip fact, click here once again and this time let's select group size. Click on add fact. Now here you will notice that even if you wish to input the text, the text cannot be input and that is because while adding the group size trip fact, we have added the field input as number. So only if you input the number, the number can be added or else the text cannot be added. 
Following the same process, you can keep on adding more drift facts. Now, click on save and continue. I have already filled in the other details for this particular trip. Please note that you can also add the drift facts while creating or adding a new trip. I have created a separate in-depth video tutorial on how to add your very first trip. So if you want to check that video out, I have added the link in the description box below or you can also click on the eye icon above. Now click on update. Now let's view the trip. If you scroll down, you will see the trip facts have now been added. Here is the field name, the field input, the icons that we have selected for each of the trip facts. And if you are wondering where the minimum and maximum age facts come from, if you go back to the dashboard, go back, go to WP Travel Engine, then go to Settings, go to Trip Info, scroll down. This is where the minimum and maximum age icon comes from. If you wish to change the icons, you have to hover your cursor over the icons. You have to click on remove. Then you have to click on minimum age icon. Then just like we selected icons before, you can select the icon of your choice or search for a respective icon from the search bar. And it is the same with the maximum age icon. If you have made any changes, you have to click on save and continue. And whatever icon you select will be displayed in the front end over here. And that is it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. You don't want to miss what we bring to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.